What's up, everyone? What's everyone? I mean, what's up, everyone? It's Launch Out 441 here, and today I'm doing something different. I got recommended to do a, vi a light visual novel on Steam called Voices from the Sea, as you see here on the screen, and I decided I've never done a visual novel before, so why not any time like the present? So I've never played this game, so let's see how it is, and uh, what does more give us? Oh, oh no. Oh no, it just takes me to their side. Oh, that was a bad. <laughs> Alright, so let's not click more. Let's click new. Enter start game and quit. Yeah, you, you might notice the keyboard that's going to be, like, I'll pop the keyboard up when I need to do something. <laughs> Unless I need, like a radio without channels, never ending buzzes, disturbing my mind. I don't remember when I no longer had the desire to tune my channel. What, you're at the home? <laughs> that's, that's a name. Cantus, how many times do I have to tell you not to do that? Now listen, I'm telling you this for your own sake. Don't you dare talk back to me. Alright? Or at school. Hey, Cantus, have you heard of this rumor? That the boy in the other class, he went to the beach and... Come on, don't be such a bore. Listen to what I have to say. Nah. Noises. <laughs> They're nothing but noise after noise. We only get louder with each passing day. Never letting me go. Oh. The sea. It's as blue as ever. Lately, I've been visiting this place more often than usual. Very few people come here. Really? Usually a lot of people go to the beach, but uh... Most kids of my age prefer hanging out with their friends or playing video games. On the other hand, I could sit here all day just listening to the fleeting waves. The sound of them hitting the shore. In and out, in and out. It's so mesmerizing. This is the only place where I can find solace. I don't have to hear any more noises. So for the beach noises, which you're gonna hear. I don't have to tune my channels just to be part of the others. I can just be myself. Dot dot dot. <laughs> dot dot dot. I'll come on with the dot dot dot. I jumped out of my seat, as if a jolt went down my spine. Huh? What did I just hear? The sound that broke the silence. Was that someone's voice? What a strange sensation. It was as though I hadn't heard one in a long time. This is reminding me of the Star Wars reference, but let's get on with this. With all the noises around me, it's no wonder I felt that way. Voice. Hey! Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Oh my... <laughs> Kawaii! Finally! Finally, I get your attention. And an unfamiliar, unfamiliar figure stands in front of me. A girl my age. It's clear she's the source of that voice. No, duh. The instant I saw her, I felt as though I just saw the blue sea. I'm not sure why. What's your name? <laughs> Cantus. I will never be able to get over that name. Huh? Once again, she catches me off guard. It was a few seconds later before I regained my composure. Cantus. Cantus? Yeah, I know. That's a weird fucking name. Am I right? She repeated what I just said with her pair of curious eyes. What a beautiful name. If you say so. What? Are you serious? No one's ever actually commented me before on my name. Thank you. That was purely out of reflex. What is this girl saying? Obviously not English. I mean, mm, all right. Sure, why not? She answered non-candidly. 
Kentus. Kentus. The more I say it, the more I like it. Don't you think so? I don't think so. <laughs> I've never heard anyone say that to me before. Not even my mom thinks that way. She probably came up with it when she was in the toilet. <laughs> oh my. Oh, aren't you the serious type? It would be great if Countess could lighten up a bit. Right. Aren't you the cheerful type? Too cheerful, I have to say. It would be great if you could tone it down a bit. Damn, this man's a douche. Upon hearing my answer, she freezes for a moment. A few seconds later, she bursts into laughter. What's so funny? I was taken aback by her reaction. It's not uncommon for people to laugh at me. Uh, yeah, I usually brush it off and walk away when they do. But her voice, that echoes in the wind. It's strangely captivating. I can't look away. Let me guess. Cantus doesn't have many friends. Yeah, with well, the name Cantus. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. It's not that I don't have many. I have none. <laughs> oh? You've got a problem with that. No, no, not at all. I get to be Cantus's first friend. It's perfect, isn't it? Sparkles, yeah, she's happy. She sounds very, very cute. Is that her hair, or is that a headband? I'm sorry, I cannot tell. It might be her hair, and I might be stupid. Exclamation point. As unusual, her response is out of the ordinary. I was rendered speechless. Maris is my name. Nice meeting you, Cantus. Cantus? This is my faithful encounter with her, the mysterious girl by the sea. I still remember those voices. Voices from the sea. The game. The movie. The legend. Alright, man, we get some uh, time in from these guys. Oh, there's the beach where I just was at. Oh, we got some footprints. We got some waves. Oh, that was something under here. Oh, okay. I see it now. Water just flying past you. She reminds me of Aqua from Kingdom Hearts. Yep. Maris. Oh, I haven't, I haven't met this person yet. Oh, this is Cantus? That's supposed to be me then. Oh. How long is this cutscene? <clears throat> oh, there's my guy just standing there. Back to the footsteps on the beach. Washed away by the sea. Oh, now you tell me that. Left, first choice, up, second choice, right, third choice. I'm probably going to forget that this. Day one, voices from the sea. Maris is my name. Nice meeting you, Cantus. Maris. I repeated it if in an attempt to register her name. Yep, Maris. Cantus and Maris, a match made in heaven, don't you think so? 
if you say so. There she goes again. Speaking of outlandish things like that without any trace of discomfort. Stop it. <laughs> this is a bear's. Can't this is a big boy? There's nothing to be embarrassed about. I'm 13. I'm still a kid. 13? What a coincidence. What? Are you the same age as me? Well, you just said she was the same age as you when you met her, but... Oh, unlike you, Mary's is a big girl. Oh, wow. What? Ooh. It's feisty. What kind of response is that? So, what's a 13-year-old kid doing all alone on the beach? Nothing. <laughs> yep. Explain. I just like staring at the sea. Da da da. That's that's so embarrassing. Really? Leave me alone. <laughs> Once again, she crumbles my composure. I've tried so hard to maintain. Look, I don't just sit here and do nothing. There are many interesting things you can do here. For example, you can listen to the waves. They're so wonderful. That's it. Is that all you do? One look at her face and you can tell that she's not convinced. You can also look for seashells. What? Why do you look at me like that? Unable to bear the silence, I continue. The only things in this world that can rival the beauty of the sea are seashells. You got a problem with that? No. It's just that that's so embarrassing. Leave me alone. <laughs> You're such a douchebag. I look away and attempt to hide my face. It's probably bright red now. I don't usually care about what others think of me. That's why my own reaction surprises me more than anything. To think that a mere comment from a girl I just barely met could make me this flustered. No, this won't do. I would better do something. Um... Let's change the topic. That's right. All I need to do is change the topic. How about you? Surely there's a reason why a big girl like you is all alone on the beach. Me? I'm here because you're here. What? Maris is Captain's first friend. Of course she has to be at the place where he is. Oh, so he's a stalker. Mm-hmm. You say more embarrassing stuff than I do. Giggle. I knew it. You're just making fun of me. Stupid me. I should have expected that considering whom I'm dealing with. There's no way she could ever give me a normal response. Now would she? That's right. I'll show her the seashells. Once one can find in this area. I'm having a hard time pronouncing English. Bear with me. I'm sure even a weird girl like her could appreciate beautiful things. Alright. Here goes nothing. A seashell. I found a chloral coke. You can only keep one seashell per day. Do you want to keep this? Sure, why not? Alright, this should do. Hey, look what I found. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, that was the wrong voice. Now you can make fun of me. You can't make fun of me anymore. I was so confident that I prematurely announced my victory. What are these? They look like fingers. It's kind of creepy, don't you think so? What? Look at the vibrant colors and unique shape and textures. How can you know something as beautiful as this creepy? I resisted with every being of my fiber. I misspelled. I misspelled all that. Jeez. Yeah, as a, she was poking fun at my retaliation. She burst into laughter a few seconds later. Mary thinks this is pretty too. Can I have it? Uh, just take it. Yeah. Thank you, Cactus. This girl. She's beyond my comprehension. I'm beginning to feel the futility in trying to understand her. It's getting late. I'm going home. Already? She's on the If you don't, Mom is going to nag me again. It's a pain, you see. I see. She looks disappointed. Well, can't this come again tomorrow? Yeah, but... Don't tell me you're coming too. Of course. Mary says I've seen Katz's smile. Oh, <laughs> she's pinching the cheeks. Wh whoa, stop that! What are you doing? I've been hanging, hanging out all day with you, but you haven't smiled not even once. I, I don't see any reason to. Only idiots smile for no reason. 
Then I'll give you a reason. Give me several days. I'll make you smile. Hmm? Uh, okay. Kansas? You're weird. Like, seriously. <laughs> okay, Kansas? Okay, okay, I got it. Will you please stop it? Yeah, she's happy over her victory. <laughs> it's a promise. Just do whatever you want. I will. I wonder why I didn't refuse her that day. Her words are like the ocean's wave, sweeping me away. I can only go along with it. Where will this current leave me? Only time can tell. Phantom is a storm that never ends. Voices from the sea, day two. A day has passed since I met her. At the time, I didn't know what she would bring to my life. I thought it was just another one of those mundane days. Countess, look at what I made for you today. It's your favorite chicken pot pie. You should eat it while it's still warm. How is it? Is it good? You know the other day I met? She was bragging about how awesome her son is. He's so good at academics and sports. Noise. Huh? I'm leaving. Wait. I'm not done talking. At least finish your food. Can't ask. <laughs> Climbs the door. Sigh. He's so rebellious nowadays. Adolescence, huh? I've been there before. He's back at the beach again. Uh, let's end this for now on day two. And I'll see you all later in the second episode. Hope to catch you all there. Peace. Bye-bye.